AQA A-Level Chemistry Required Practical 1 Part A Task Prepare 250 cm cubed of a solution of sodium hydrogen sulfate with a known concentration of approximately 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. So we need to start by calculating the mass of sodium hydrogen sulfate that we need to weigh out. To do this, we're going to start by working out the number of moles by using volume times concentration. The volume is 250 centimetres cubed, but remember it has to be in decimetres cubed, so we need to divide by a thousand. And the concentration is 0.1, so that gives me 0.025 moles. To work out the mass, we're going to use moles times MR. Now the MR you need to work out using the periodic table. Remember all the masses on the periodic table are to one decimal place. So your mass should be to one decimal place also. So the moles were 0.025 times the MR which means we need to weigh out 3.0025 grams. Now this is only the approximate mass because we only need to make approximately a 0.1 solution. So if we weigh out about 3 grams. It doesn't matter if you don't get it spot on. Place a clean, empty weighing bottle on an analytical balance and zero the balance. Add about 3 grams of the sodium hydrogen sulfate to the weighing bottle. It doesn't have to be exactly 3 grams, around 3 grams will do. Remove the weighing bottle and the sodium hydrogen sulfate from the balance, zero the balance and re-weigh the weighing bottle with the sodium hydrogen sulfate in it and record that mass. Transfer the sodium hydrogen sulfate to a clean 250 centimetre cubed beaker. Before you do anything else, re-weigh the empty weighing bottle and record. It may have a residue of sodium hydrogen sulfate left on the inside of it, so if you weigh it, we'll know exactly how much you've used. Add approximately 50 centimetres cubed of distilled water and stir using a glass rod until dissolved. Pour the contents of the beaker into the volumetric flask. Rinse the beaker, glass rod and funnel with distilled water and add the washings to the volumetric flask. It's worth doing this a couple of times to make sure everything has transferred. Make the volumetric flask up to the mark using distilled water. For the final addition, it's worth using a dropping pipette to make sure you don't overshoot the end point. The bottom of the meniscus should be just sitting on the line, so you can't see any of it over or under the line, as shown in the diagram. Stop the flask and mix thoroughly. Invert the flask at least ten times to ensure it's all fully mixed. Finally, you need to calculate the concentration of the solution you have made. Using your original results, which should have been recorded in the table, you can work out the mass of sodium hydrogen sulfate used by taking away the mass of the empty weighing bottle, which you weighed at the end, from the mass of the weighing bottle and the sodium sulfate combined. We're then going to work out the moles of sodium hydrogen sulfate. To do that, we're going to do mass over MR. We worked the MR out for the first bit, so we can use that same value again. Remember, always use MR to one decimal place. Once we've got the moles, then it's fairly easy to work out the concentration. And we're going to do moles divided by volume. Remember the volume has to be in decimeters cubed. And to do that, I'm putting the factor of a thousand in again. And that gives me a concentration of 0.100 moles per decimeter cubed, which is what it needs to be.